The headline is that uh, looking at algebra and geometry courses, sometimes what the label of the course is, what it's called, uh, does not accurately reflect the content of the course. Some mathematics courses uh, that, for example, are called honors are actually covering uh, basic material, and some that are uh, purported to be more basic courses are actually fairly, fairly rigorous. You could have courses with the same title, same description, in two different districts, and the students are being taught very different content. Well, the implications are that uh, you know, kids may have a transcript that says one thing, but actually may not be uh, getting access to the instruction that they need uh, for, to, for a career, for the labor market, for college. Oh, I would be really, really surprised. I mean, the impression I was given all through her schooling years is that, you know, when you take honors classes, you, you, you are challenged more. It actually surprises me that regular math and uh, honors uh, math, there is no, no difference on it. It seems, I guess, like false advertising. It seems like a totally superficial label that's placed on the, on the coursework um, that doesn't actually mean anything in reality. If it's going to be an honors course, it should really be honors. The question remains whether or not there's a benefit to labeling one version of this instruction honors and the other is standard. Why are schools calling things honors when in reality they're not? What if I want my child to take to be a little more challenged? Um, what, what is available? It seems as though you're pressured to take honors classes when they're easy, as easy as other classes. So what's the point of that? Does it really apply to this school and where my children are? It's very important for parents who see this study saying that the honors algebra course, algebra one course, was not as rigorous as the regular algebra course. They need to understand that this is across many high schools, but the real point is that parents need to ask questions about what honors will mean in a certain school. For some schools, the honors college course or the honors course is fine. For other places, it may not mean the level of rigor parents are thinking it means. Parents can do several things, but one is to ask about the content, um, what content is taught. One might like to see more research that looks at instruction. What are teachers actually doing in the course of the day with students in classrooms that might go beyond the textbook, that might adapt the textbook, that might draw in other instructional materials or tools. And if we could understand that a little more thoroughly and put that together with what's learned in this study, we might then begin to, to really make progress on the improvement of high school math. Shakespeare said a rose by any other name smells as sweet. And what we found is a rose by any other name doesn't smell sweet at all. So I have to find out whether or not kids who are taking whatever course my youngster's in, how are those kids doing when they go on to post-secondary education? How are they doing in a two-year college or a four-year college? Is that course and is their curriculum preparing them for the future?